special good morning to each and every one here most respected her excellency honorable president of india madam draupadi murmu ji honorable union minister of culture and tourism ji kishan reddy garu honorable state minister madam satyavati rathod garu shri b subareddy garu chairperson nits and shri vidya reddy garu vice chairperson nits raghav reddy garu egambar reddy garu distinguished guests eminent personalities and academicians esteemed print and electronic media friends faculty and staff members beloved students and all the other participants mana priyanga priyatnama rashtrapati garu ikkadiki ee nits program ku raavadam ఒక్క చరిత్ర ఒక్క రోజు మనమందరం కట్టిగా చెప్పట్లు కొట్టి మన గౌరవ రాష్ట్రమానికి స్వాగతం తెలుపుతాము ఐఎమ్ రియలీ వెరీ హ్యాపీ టు అటెండ్ దిస్ ప్రోగ్రామ్ విత్ అవర్ హానరబుల్ ప్రెసిడెంట్ ఫర్ ద పాస్ట్ టూ టు త్రీ డేస్ ఐఎమ్ విత్ హ and this is the women institution exclusively on technology this is the country which was dreaming which didn't have voting rights for women in the initial stages and which the education was denied for the women students but now the narayanama institute of technology and science tops the country in the engineering technology exclusively for women that is the dream of all our freedom fighters our leaders who shed blood for the country so i appreciate they mark this association occasion as azadi ka amrit mahotsav and you can see uh, our honorable kishan reddy ji enlisted how women can be empowered in this country in all branches on all walks of life but you can see the dyers the real women empowerment is visible in this country the honorable president the honorable governor and the honorable state minister representing the state and the country yeah the, and uh, academician sri vidya uh, is representing the institution also so in all stages from the country to the institution you can see the women empowerment so after seeing madam honorable most respected draupadi murmu ji no women in this country no women in this state can think that their rights are denied they can cry for their rights because when a leader can rise to the from humble background to this level anybody in india follow her footsteps can come up in life so nobody should cry for the rights in this country so she is a great role model in our country but our my message to the students please grab what all the opportunities given to you first of all even we have more number of colleges for women when we go for nowadays when we go for the convocations we are very happy that most of the gold medals are grabbed by the women students most of the toppers are women students but one thing i want to convey that but still the science and technology research only 15% women are involved in that even even in naturopathy and even medical research as a doctor i can say only 25% women are involved in that so you have to get involved in the innovative procedures in the research activities because covid 19 has taught us that research will help us in the most alarming situation and i am very happy because of the all of the efforts because of the education rendered in our country when we were medical students we used to long for the vaccination to be imported from other countries but now i am proud even china countries like china are suffering now my country is very safe 
because of the vaccination taken which is produced in my country so that is the proud moment and under the leadership of our honorable madam definitely india will write the history the noble history as our honorable prime minister said and as our honorable prime minister says that nothing should halt the progress of a women so only in our culture the marriage may halt the progress of a women so the time limit of the marriage has risen from 18 years to 21 years so nothing should halt the women's progress so thinking like th this and the very strong leadership make us to be very strong and i really appreciate this institution but when i was reading about this institution this institution has club for women safety that is very important my my request is whatever may be the hurdles you face please convey to the higher authorities so no women should shed tears because of weakness and because of there is no safety and i appreciate this institution they are taking much care about fitness i as our honorable prime minister says everyone should be fit and when i go to the institutions when i ask a question how many of you do yoga in the morning very few raise their hands but you have to be only one thing in the institutions why you have to be very fit why you have to go, do yoga you can get more marks if you do yoga so it's an, another additional qualification to get more marks so be fit be happy at the same time be courage the subramaniya bharathi from tamil nadu says stand straight look straight put your head high and walk straight don't be covered be courageous even if the sky fall on your head don't fear we are fearless if the sky fall on our head also then what we will fear so all as women let us all be courageous happy and exemplify in our activities and our academic activities as it is expected by your parents and your teachers and my respects to again i convey my respects to our honorable most respectful madam after seeing her as i said no women should be a covered no women should feel weak all women should feel strong enough because this country is headed by a strong women thank you so much